Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make French onion cube steak in the crock pot. We're going to take these delicious looking cube steaks and turn it into this. Cube steaks are a rough cut of beef and it's pounded out with a cleaver and it tenderizes the beef somewhat and breaks it down and then they cut it into cube shapes. Now what we're going to do is lock in some delicious flavor with that also and we're going to sear it because cube steaks need to cook low and slow in order to get tenderized. So we're going to go ahead and create a dredge for it and then we're going to sear these on both sides. Now I'm just using a pie plate because it's a narrow dish or you can use a plate if you want to do that. And I'm just going to put some flour in my pie plate there. About half a cup to three quarters of a cup. It depends on how many you're going to be searing. Now you want to flavor your flour so it can lock in some delicious flavors into our cube steaks. I am just using this gourmet burger seasoning. It'll add some delicious flavor to it. So you want to add about a tablespoon. So you can use any type of burger seasoning, steak seasoning, or if you don't have that, then you can certainly add like a quarter teaspoon of salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. I'm going to just stir this together with a fork. I've got one pound of cube steaks here and there's four of them here and that'll be just perfect for our family. In a large skillet over medium high heat, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cooking oil. And then to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. This will help sear the meat and give it a nice crust with that flour mixture. You want to get a good sizzle on your butter and the oil. And while that's happening, I'm going to start dredging our cube steaks. So just take one of the cube steaks, you're going to lay it into the flour. I'm going to pat it in. I'm going to turn it over and cover the other side. You want a nice coverage. Shake off any excess and then place it into your pan. Now I'm going to be doing these in batches. We're going to let these cook for three to four minutes on each side to get nice and browned and then we're going to flip them over. Best thing to do is just keep an eye on them and just take a peek every now and then. Oh yeah, that looks really good. So flip them over. We're not cooking these all the way through or tenderizing them right now. Woo, look at that. Perfect. All right, another three minutes, and then we'll take these out and do the other batch. This is flavor. I'm going to add some more butter, a little bit more oil. Just going to bring over a cutting board of, and an onion and we're just going to rough chop that. Give me a knife here. Just big pieces. You know anytime we put onions in a crock pot they need to be big so that you can find them. So this onion is going to serve a purpose of a blanket to put down our cube steaks onto. We 
what I'm going to do before I pull the steaks out, I'm just going to put these onions in so they can absorb all the excess flavor in the pan. Yo, that's all deliciousness there. Let's see what those steaks look like. Oh, yeah, good. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to turn off the burner. I'm just going to let the onions absorb any of that excess oil and butter down there and all those flavors. And then we're going to pour this into the bottom of our crock pot. Now, once we put the onions in the bottom of the crock pot, we're going to place the steaks on top. I use the three can soup method to pour over our cube steaks. The first one, French onion soup. These are 10 ounces each, so we're going to pour these into a medium bowl. 10 ounces of beef broth. And then 10 ounces of cream of celery soup. You can also use cream of mushroom if you want to do that. I like the cream of celery. It's really good with the French onion. I'm just going to whisk this together carefully. Okay, we're going to pour this all over our cube steaks. That's going to make some delicious gravy to put over potatoes or pasta to have with your cube steak. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this on low for six to eight hours, or you can cook it on high between four to six hours. You want those steaks to be nice and fork tender. Look at this delicious gravy it made. I didn't add any cornstarch or anything at the end. This is it right here. Crock-Pot French Onion Cube Steaks. I'm going to plate this up with some egg noodles and also our famous green beans. Watch how tender this is. Fork tender. There we go. Mmm. That's very tender very full of flavor. Mm, I love that. That gravy. I'm using egg noodles for this dish today. Mm. That's delicious. Okay guys, give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think of my crock pot French onion cube steaks. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on the next episode.